A local dog has sonar for the special needs of some soldiers and veterans. His family has been struck by an alarming trend in the military. I would news reporter Walt Buteau with this week's Street Story. From his smiling snout uh, good boy. Yeah. to his uncontrollable tail, you can see Sonar has a way about him. Good dog. The dog will actually move himself into a position uh, good boy. where he can just drop that arm down. What a good boy you are. And there's this soft dog to pet. And the smile that comes on their face, <laughs> it just lights right up. Sonar is a trained therapy dog who works with veterans who face a variety of ailments. Say hello. But his specialty might be battlefield injuries. The rest of us can't see. I'm concerned about them all. I lost my brother to PTSD. You never want it. You, you never want it. His brother Dean Rouse served in the Gulf War and then re-enlisted and went to Iraq in 07. Toward the end, Stephen noticed sharp changes in his little brother's personality, but as hard as he tried, he could not stop the spiral. And over the period of a couple of months, he really just shut down. And I was just frantic. And then one day, a couple of weeks later, the phone rang, and it was that phone call. Night dog. Good boy. But a good boy. Dean never met Sonar. Come on, buddy. But as this lovable Staffordshire Terrier worked the room at the Rhode Island Veterans Home in Bristol, Sonar. Stephen told us about the impact the dog has. There's one guy. One example involves a soldier who rarely says a word. What he does is lay with his head on a table. That changes when he gets a glimpse of sonar. And he looks, and he gets this smile. And it's huge. I can't make my mouth that big. I got one. And he starts talking like you and I are talking right now. My brother would love to be here doing this. My brother was the life of the party. Therapy dogs are allowed in many hospitals, but right now the VA is not allowing that type of therapy. Rouse and Sonar hope to change that. Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.